Hey guys, and welcome to yet another episode. We've traveled to Lisbon. Yes, that's right. And we're doing something very special today. Actually, if you're into classic cars, but still think, well, a classic car is fine, but we need something a little bit more special, then today is the video to pay attention to. We're going to meet Andre, and I'm not gonna tell you what car it is, but the people who know or just by his first name will understand which car this is. Well, it has three wheels. That's all I'm gonna say. I look forward to this actually. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Let's go. Okay guys, so we're here on location and this is the Wander Hall Venice Blackjack. This thing is out of this world. Like, look at it. It has one rear wheel. <laughs> and trust me when I say this, when you hear this car on the road and such, it'll blow your mind. And I could have never thought of buying something like this, but Andre has. So let's talk to him, ask him a bit about the car, and then we'll go for a drive, yeah? Hi, how are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So, what made you buy this car? Um, I bought this car because it's a little bit difficult for me. For sure. Yes, yeah, for sure. It's a nice car. Uh, it's a 1.5 liter engine. Yeah. Turbo one. Turbo engine. With 175 horsepower and about 5,000 kilos. That's it? Yes. Okay, so we'll so be around 800 when I get in it. <laughs> <laughs> So 175 horsepower, yes. turbo engine, yes. what type of engine is it? It's a GM. It's a GM, American, so General Motors engine, yeah? American okay, so is, is this uh, somewhat of like an American muscle car or, or would you say it's... Um, it's built like an American muscle car, yeah? but it's not. Okay, so it isn't really, yeah. Well, this looks like it's very properly built. Like, yes. is, is, is the whole car just like full on chassis or yeah, is full it? Full on chassis. Okay. Uh, all the models are like handmade. Handmade, yeah. yes. Okay. It's Absolutely incredible. So, this is the Blackjack, correct? This is the Blackjack. Okay, so where blackjack. where is it in like uh, the standings it's, from it's one the place model? Okay, so. Then the other thing is because it's not. Okay. With doors, with the top, okay. It's the top. Okay. Yeah. The Which is the top one. Yes. Okay. So if anyone was to buy something like this, yes. <laughs> how much would they have to pay? Uh, the base model about forty thousand. Forty thousand. Yeah. yeah. And this yeah. is in euros, guys. So. Yeah, yes. Forty thousand yeah. euros. And the next level above would be uh, about fifty-two, okay. fifty-four. Yeah. And the top one about seventy-six. I see. Well, I mean, this is an absolute neck breaker. <laughs> we drove over here and, you know, I, I own an Integra, right? And this is the first time it's as if my car is completely invisible. <laughs> Even driving right behind this car, people were doing this. Like, they see the car pass and then they notice that it's two front wheels. And then they stop looking and then they see that it's just the back wheel and they turn their whole body and they just open their mouth like just like you probably did when you saw what this is and this has leather interior in the seats um, and also the steering wheel is leather yes this is yeah okay and based on what we see here if you come around here and look at this dashboard this is very standard stuff you know you have all the information that you need and nothing more. Very, very simplistic, but very beautiful. Very well made. And all of these, they are just automatics, yeah? Just automatic. Okay, so we don't have the pleasure of changing gears that way. Base model. In the base model. Okay. So it is an option to have a manual. Uh, no, only flappy paddle. Uh, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. The other model, the gear knob over here. Oh, so that's why this place is here. Yes. Okay. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> that's so cool. 
And the tires, they come yes. standard, standard with these? Yes. So what Federal, size? Uh, 275 uh, in the rear. Yeah. And I think. So 275 in the rear. And 225 in the front. The front. That's crazy. Yeah. Yes. And also, if you notice the wheels, guys, those are made from the manufacturer themselves. This is not an aftermarket wheel. It just looks this cool when <laughs> once you buy it from factory. It's absolutely mind blowing. Like if you get a close look at the rear one, this is an actual rim. It's not like a bike where you have a single, it's a full on wheel. It, it, it's some of the coolest stuff I've ever seen. It is simply amazing. How long did you want this? Uh, I want this about two years. Two years? Yeah, two and a half years. Any troubles with it? Nothing. Wow. 18,000 miles. 18,000 yeah. miles. As in, as in American miles or kilometers? Uh, kilometers. Kilometers, okay, so, yeah. yeah. No, no, but I was thinking maybe it would be miles since the yes, engine is, yes, is yes, GM and so yeah. on. Yeah. But I mean, it's a GM motor, you know, they, they deliver in crates as well. These are very reliable motors. What's the size? Was uh, one and a half liter? Yes, yes. yes. Okay. Yes. yes. Oh, this is crazy. I can't wait to get into this thing and just feel it first and then I going to have the privilege of driving it for a little while this this thing is worth a lot and it's super special so I'm not gonna be pushing anything I just want to feel how it is to drive okay guys so a very special feature about this car I don't know if you noticed but this bonnet or the hood of the car is very sleek isn't it so in terms of the suspension in normal cars you have strut bar towers you know inside of the car where you put your uh, coils in and all of the adjustments. But on this car, it's not like that. This is actually, and come over here, F1 inspired. So what it does is handle the same type of dampening, but like this instead. So it's kind of, when you look in the suspension of the rear, for example, of a Pagani Sonda, because usually that's what most people have seen before. It's the same type of setup, but better, I would say, because, well, as Andre told me, this is F1 inspired. So if we look at this, it kind of reminds uh, of double wishbone suspension, but they moved it over here to be able to remove the necessity of having a strut bar tower. Because as you can see here, there are no springs on this side. We really can't open the hood. I don't know if you noticed, because I didn't. If you see all of these bolts, you see those? <laughs> That's keeping the hood in place. So that means when Andre goes to change oil and everything in this engine, he has to take it to get serviced. So what that ensures for the brand is that everything is done correctly all of the time and also you won't have your car tampered with adjusted by someone who is not eligible to do it and I think that's a very good thing because well it's an expensive car all of the components in this car are expensive like we just discussed this is F1 technology in terms of suspension you can't put coilovers on this thing like we usually do. So just because of that, I can't show you the engine of this car. I'm just gonna have to take our word that it is a 1.5 liter, uh, liter turbo engine. You've heard it in the videos, so there's a turbo in here. But yeah, if you wanna service one of these, you're gonna have to open all of the bolts to see what's in. <laughs> So Andre, yes. this is a very rare car. Yes, a little bit. A little bit. When you drive through the streets, like we're driving right now, this has to be a neck breaker. Yes. It sure. doesn't matter what other cars you drive around with, does it? Like, it could probably even be 
Lambos, Ferraris, it wouldn't matter. Yes. People would turn their heads to this one. Yes. Yeah. Because the Lamborghinis and Ferraris are very, very nice cars. Yep. But this is rare. Exactly, yeah. never see this. Yes. No, for sure. This is this is very, very unique. Like, yes. to, to be sitting in, uh, like, the whole chassis. Like, the whole car is the chassis. There's no other parts, so we're sitting exactly in the two. And it's so incredible, it's so crazy to me, that it doesn't vibrate. I mean, it has a little bit of vibration, yes. but that's, that's normal. Yes. You have an engine in here, so of course it will. But based on being right, like bolted right into the car, and we're sitting right in it, you hardly feel it. This that's is very impressive. impressive. Yes. I don't use it as a daily. No, like, of course. Like, 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 I mean, it would be hard if it rained. <laughs> yes. Like an umbrella like yeah. this. Yeah. You have to have a strong arm. Yeah. That's for sure. But, yeah. It's, it's a nice car. Yeah, it's for nice sure. Car. It's, it's so beautiful. So, any mods done to it? Like, have you? No, no it's completely like, stopped. Yes, yeah? yes, yes, okay. So, to, I think I don't want to put some exhaust. Yeah. About model. Yes. Okay. It's, uh, straight pipes. Yeah. Cool straight pipes. Okay. And uh, in the front, I will do a damp pipe. In yeah. The right front. Okay. Yes. I see. You've owned the car for two years now. Yes. Yeah. Any plans of? Is this like your forever car, or are you doing no, something? No, no, no. Uh, I like to keep it. So, but I don't think I'll keep it. Uh, Many years. Okay, yeah. So it's two years, two and a half years. Yeah. But, uh, then you're looking for something new. Yeah, I get yeah. tired. Yeah. <laughs> the, it's the, the, it's the, the, the yeah, it's the regular like car enthusiast life, yes. you know. Yes. Based on that, if this car could have had a manual, would you prefer it to be manual? Um, I don't think so. No? I don't think so. Okay. So, um, yep. So, ah, if the man won, yeah. you can enjoy it a lot more. Right? I don't think so. No. I don't think so. Here in the automatic uh, I enjoy every little second. Yes. I don't have to worry about it to, to change gears. Yep. Uh, every other stuff, the clutch one. Yep. So here it's so just enjoying the drive. Total. Yeah. Super. Makes sense. I fully get that. Yes. Yeah. can enjoy everything. Yeah. The view. Yeah, the view and the looks of every everyone turning their heads without <laughs> you having to change gear. It makes sense to me. But this dump valve or wastegate for the others is incredible. This sound is intoxicating. I could listen to this all day long. For sure. <laughs> so my consultants is not six. It's about a, it's a yeah. half, so it's all day long. It's awesome. It's awesome. So the base model costs around 40,000, yeah? So up yes. here. Uh, so since this car costs 40,000, there is a lot of uh, <laughs> alternatives for people. Like yes, they can choose course. something else. Of course, of course, of course. But if you were to sum up why someone should buy this instead of, well, anything else in that price range, what would you say to them? Uh, uh, it's difficult to, to say it works. Yeah. They have to experience it. It has to be an experience. Yes, yeah. yes, 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 yes. I can tell you this is true because you'll never feel anything like this. Like the acceleration of this, the sound of it, it's absolutely incredible. So, in my opinion, this is worth the 40000 as a starting price. And this is without a roof, guys. Like, if you want a roof, that's like, what, 20,000 more? Uh, On the top yeah, level? Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's... But with other extras. Yes. Yes. A yeah. Agreeable brakes. Yeah. Heated seats. Okay. Shift pedals. Yeah. Well, heated seats. I mean, based on this one being the only one that has a open solution all the time. Yes. This one should have had heated seats. <laughs> but it's, we're not cold in here. For sure. Like it's cloudy now. It's not sunlight. And we're driving in like, yeah, quite, quite uh, 
entertaining speech, let's call it that. Yes, yes, yes. But it's not cold. I'm not freezing in any way, shape, or form. So. Every time I drive it, I forget the bottom of it. Right? So yeah. It's cool. I keep it out of jackets. Yeah. So I'm, yeah. I put on the jackets. Very simple. Yes. It's just putting a windbreaker on, guys, <laughs> and you're fine. And the umbrella. But you need to be very strong. <laughs> very strong in the speeds that this thing can go. Holding an umbrella like this, uh, that's the only <laughs> challenge you have, probably. Yes. <laughs> but other than this, this, this car is quite simply astonishing. This is quite an experience. And wonderful. They, there's like, I know there's one more here in Portugal. Yes. Yeah. No, no, no. There's it's more than that. Yeah, this one. In, uh, okay. in the north. Yep. I think it's about four. Four. Okay. Yep. Four. Here. Uh, seven. Yep. Two, three or four. Okay. And in the south I think one. Yep. About ten. Yeah. So ten of these. Yes. I see. That's very very cool. Because I was wondering if Wonderhall has ever reached out to you and invited in terms of like Wonderhall uh, Portugal for road trips and, and gathered you as owners. Yes. Yeah, okay. Yes, have, uh, so it's an owner's club somewhere. Yes, yes, yes. yes. We have a uh, uh, kind of whole portal. Yep. And uh, I, like I told you, I have no no, but okay. uh, I don't get to many of this car. Yep. Uh, how often a year do they do that? Uh, I, I think they go twice a year. Twice a year? Yeah. And they go to the Yep. So we have three or four. Yeah. We gather around. The okay. Yep. Yeah. It's just the sound of this engine. For it just to be like a 1.5 is is insane to me. Like it's crazy. Absolutely mind-blowing. So let's go find a good spot to park. Do a little bit more of cinematics and such. And then we can swap if you allow. Yes, of course. Yeah. This is just such a great drive. It's so comfortable to do this for hours. <laughs> I do that for hours. Yeah, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Size that it's almost scary to uh, push the throttle and the brakes are crazy active like they bite immediately it's not like a tiny piece of like you need to push the foot hard I am barely touching the brake pedal and the car has probably the same braking power as your normal day-to-day -day car and I'm barely 
barely resting my foot on the uh, brake pedal. Like we're going over these bumps and I'm just slightly resting my foot. Absolutely incredible. And I'm doing the same with the gas pedal. The gas pedal is barely in and the car just absolutely is. And you feel exactly how light the car is. It weighs absolutely nothing. It is probably one of the most crazy experiences driving a car I have ever been through. And it feels so natural. It's the perfect car. I'll dare say it. This is probably the coolest car I've ever driven. And it's so light on its feet. Like steering input, the car just turns immediately. And being a trike or like having three wheels, you don't even notice that it, it does it. You don't notice it at all. It's quite simply perfectly comfortable. You'd think that because it's a uh, trike and it's built right on the chassis, you'd be forgiven if you thought, well, it's going to be very stiff. You'll feel every single bump and you'll be moving around everywhere. That is not the case. It simply isn't the case. It's just a dream to drive. Now, this acceleration, And I'm only going to do it once, so that was it. That's all you're getting from me, nothing else. Because this, this car is quite simply astonishing. And I want to thank Andre for letting us drive this car by ourselves even. I've never ever felt anything like this. And uh, to sum this car up, if you have 40,000 euros, buy one of these. Everyone will turn their heads. Everyone will be wondering what just passed me. And you yourself, you'll feel like an absolute king. You're fast, you're agile, and you look real good. Especially in black, this thing is a dream. So guys, this is probably one of the craziest cars I've ever driven. This is not a tear of like being scared. I'm just very happy I got to drive this thing. So if you're like a distinguished gentleman in look of something completely unique, this is the car to get for sure. Listen to this thing. Crazy. I love it. <laughs> it's absolutely crazy. Thank you very much. And I'll see you in the next one. This is absolutely amazing.